Awesome, welcome to Boring Master, everyone. Great to have you here. My name's Vaughn, the founder, and it is awesome to have you as part of the Boring Technique Day. We are gonna go through the quick step forward and backward locks for both the man and lady today. So if you've been struggling with this step, trying to get that nice lightness, the airiness to it, the length of the movement, and of course the control and the balance, this message and lesson is definitely for you. Even if you've done this before, it's a really good brush up on technique that you should definitely know from a fundamental level. So I'm gonna go through this uh, quickly, but it's on replay so you can watch it again and again and again. Okay, so one of the first things to realize with good ballroom dancing is that all good ballroom dancing, essentially the better your swinging movement through your leg, the better your movement's going to be. Now, quick step, the idea of quick step, let me ask you what type of character the dance exudes. What is it for you? It's not slow and it's not heavy and it's certainly not uh, dispassionate and it isn't a lazy dance. It's very light, it's very airy, it's very quick, it's silky, right? It's like a silk on the wind, as my coach used to say. The reason that's important is so you can um, think about the type of movement you're trying to generate here. That's what your technique is supposed to help you do. And your swing is to help you produce better technique as well. So they sort of work hand in hand, okay? So the idea here is to think about the basics of the dance. First basic being your feet. What are your feet doing? All right. So for us to do good locks, we need to understand alignment. All right, so the first thing to do, I need to find my line of dance. For this exercise, I'm gonna use uh, my room here. So where I'm facing now, this will be my line of dance. And so there's my wall. That's right, guys, my wall is to my right. And then if I go in between line of dance and the wall, 45 degrees or an eighth of a turn, that's a diagonal to wall. That is important because from the direction that we're doing these locks, that's where it starts in the technique book. So that's what we're gonna roll with today. And this will help you to create more balance uh, and control because I'm gonna show you now how to place your feet. So if we look at our foot positions first, this is man or lady doing a forward lock. I'll start with my right foot, okay? So feet positions are quite literally where one foot is going in relation to the other. So uh, if we take our right foot forward first, we're stepping into CBMP on step one. Step two, we're stepping left foot forward. This is, well, the first step was out preparing to go outside partner or outside partner. And then left foot goes diagonally forward cross your right foot behind, and then your left foot goes diagonally forward again, and your right foot steps right foot forward in CBMP outside the partner. Now, if that CBMP business sounded a bit confusing, think of two, two tracks becoming one, all right? So a step moving foot goes on the line of the supporting foot. And that happens at the beginning, the entry of the step and of the exit, both entry and exit, you're outside your partner at the end. If you learn basic quick step from the beginning, it's one of the first times you go outside your partner and then you go uh, and you stay outside, you do your lock and then you remain outside at the end and then you generally come back in line. So it can get a bit confusing. But with those feet positions, right, going right foot forward uh, in CBMP on step one, outside partner, left foot diagonally forward on step two, right foot crosses behind the left foot and then the left foot goes diagonally forward again, then your right foot goes uh, in CBMP outside your partner. Okay, so what we need to realize is that you're moving diagonally. So it's like, okay, yes, your direction, you're facing diagonal to wall, your body's towards the wall, uh, if the man or the lady in this point. And as we're moving, we consider it and feel like it's moving sideways down the room. And that's because you're stepping diagonally twice in this movement. If we look at the backward step, I'll take my left foot back for a moment. All right, so man or lady, I'll do it as the man. So left foot's gonna go back. Actually, I'll do it as the lady. So I'll change up holds, check that out. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? I'm in a different posture. Okay, so my left foot's gonna go back underneath in CBMP on step one, and then the man is outside me. Step two, my right foot's gonna go back on the toe. Step three, my left foot is gonna cross in front, and I'll explain this is the point where you need to focus, ladies. I'll come back to this in a minute in the footwork. Then my right foot comes out diagonally at the end, and then I step underneath my body in CBMP on the last step, and that is vitally important because the man's coming outside me. If my last step goes on an angle, I'm gonna pull us both off balance. So CBMP is a position that allows the couple to stay in contact, okay? It allows the frame to be maintained. That's why we need to understand this very important foot position. Okay, so I mentioned something about the third step of the lock. Super duper, uber important, it's for your balance, it's super important you understand this. So let me come back to that in just a moment, hang with me, we'll come back to it. I wanna now go through the forward lock again. So let's recap what we just did. 
We did feet positions in the forward lock. Now we need to do the footwork in the forward lock. Okay, so again, where's my alignment? Line of dance, wall, diagonal to wall. Off we go. So my first step, right foot forward, outside partner in CBMP. That's going to be heel toe. Then I'm going to step on a toe. Then my left foot, right foot's going to cross underneath. On the toe, my left foot's going to come out, toe heel, and then my right foot forward, heel toe. Well, it'll be heel at the moment, but it will go into a toe depending on the next step. All right, so that's a mouthful, but you can write it down on a piece of paper and it will help you out. Let's do it one more time. Right foot forward, heel, toe, 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 heel, heel. And life is grand. We could swing into the sunset and have a little dance together and a caparina. Okay, so next step we've got to do is the backward lock. Let's look at our feet position. Now, ladies, here we go. Step three for you, very important, okay? We go like this. I think it's step three. We'll find out. So I've got my position, always checking my poise, got my head on. Oh yeah, it's a nice day to be a lady. Okay, so left foot back, toe heel, right foot back, toe only. If that heel lowers too early, you'll pull the man over and you'll fall. The left heel, okay, you pull heel to a toe. That's an important footwork position. Okay, I'll do it again. So pull the heel to a toe. One more time, heel to a toe, whilst being on the toe, of both feet. So both feet, your heels are off the floor where the weight is now in the left foot. You then take the right foot back, toe heel, and then the left foot will commence to move, toe heel, and the heel of course will lower as the next step is you know, continued, so to speak. All right, let's do that again, ladies. So left foot back, toe heel, toe heel, toe, toe heel, toe. Okay, so that's what you must understand. Alignment, where are you going? And the feet positions related to that, left foot, right foot, diagonal, uh, etc. And then your footwork. Am I using a heel? Am I using a toe? Here is the big tip for you. Anyone, whatever you go backwards in ballroom dancing, the minute that that heel lowers is the moment that you've completed the step. So essentially your foot should be lowering as the foot pa uh, passes. So if I go back on, if I do the lock again, and this can be man or lady, so if I do it as the gentleman doing a backward lock, I go left foot back, toe heel, same footwork, same foot positions. Right foot back, Notice that the person coming in front is doing a diagonal step, but I'm going back, and then I'm ready to cross in front. Now, as I do that, I keep my back heel off the floor. It allows my weight to be controlled, right? Now, when I come out of that, my left foot will pass the right foot, and as that, low, as that happens, I lower. That allows me to control my downswing into the next movement. So, as a side tip, it's really important that you know how your heel functions in terms of keeping your balance and your weight controlled and distributed so it's like a nice, smooth, silky action. Remember at the beginning, what did I ask you? What character are you trying to create in this dance? What feeling do you want present? What color, if you will, do you want the, color, the, the dance to look like? Because the way you control them rolling through your feet is going to control and dictate, um, I suppose, the output, what it looks like, what we see. So that will help you tremendously. Know your alignment, know your feet positions, and know your footwork. I think I've covered everything. Perhaps let's look at the timing really quickly. Last bit, the right foot will go forward. This will go slow. Then I'll quick, quick for the lock, slow to come out and lower, and then slow at the end. So if I do that now as the lady or the man, either way, or I'll do as a lady right now, left foot back, this will go slow, then quick, quick, slow, slow. And I'm ready to continue on into the sunset and get one, another one of those caparinas. Mind you, your balance may not be too good at the end of that. Anyways, this is Vaughn from Boring Mastery. I really enjoyed bringing this to you. Let me know, leave a comment, like, and share below uh, if you like more of this training. And visit boringmastery.com for more awesome training. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode where we will master the art of boring dancing together.